All right, here we go with another box opening of a dog box. Okay. Guy <clears throat> said he was on vacation until September 11th. <sighs> send it in that box and then decided not to. Um, free shipping. Line suppressor. I'm going to just cut that thing off. Okay, Midland mic. Midland microphone. Four pin. Okay. Okay, Midland mic. Looks just like a Cobra mic, exactly. Same exact mic. <clears throat> Alright, why did he take the knobs and shit off? They're just floating around in there. up for that double knob because uh, now it's just a shaft sticking out. Maybe that's why that falls on the side right there. So, I hope I don't have a problem with the double knob. <clears throat> uh -huh. That was a bolt. Okay. Dodd. All right, there it is, without the knobs on it. I don't feel any destruction here. Feels okay. The AM clarifier, sideband AM, RF gain, volume squelch, and mic gain, just like a 29. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least it's now scratched up. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the back. Just regular old back plate. Oh, you know what? This thing here was glued on here, like that. It was actually glued on. See the glue? Glue. They actually glued that on. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> okay, so it's missing a knob, and that's why this was in here, and it's just, this is nothing to me. Let's see if one of these fit. Come on, fit. 
do. Okay, that fits. But that goes to my realistic 449. Anyway, I got other screws. I could probably use. Okay, that's it. Midland 893. Yeah, damn it. Scratched up. They said it was scratched up right here. Got a dent. Little dent. Little dent. Chrome is not that great, but. Well, anyway, there it is. Midland 993. And, uh, okay, yeah, I've got both the double knobs. So. Alright, well, let's put the doms on it, shall we? I guess. Okay. Okay. Mike Gain. Okay. RF Gain. All right. Okay, there it is. AM upper. Put this knob on. Cobra knobs too. Clarifier. All right. Channel selector. I don't know what channel it's on. I'll just put it on. There it is. Cobra 893. Just like a, just like a 29, but I think the 29 is, is only right there, and this is way out farther. Got a mic holder. So there it is. Let me put the old mic on it, I guess. Hang it on there. There it is. I don't know, I think it was forty something dollars. Something like that. Anyway, there it is, Midland. Okay, Midland Radio, and more on this Madison later. Uh, there's the bottom plate, the top plate. I just got this uh, uh, cabinet drawer wrapping on it just to we'll see what it'll look like that's all I know the vent holes are covered up and uh, I got a fan that I'm gonna put right there blowing on that and it seems to keep that cool so anyway there we go fake knots and all and there's my parts Madison down there okay so there it is Box opening of a Midland 893. Brake brake. CB radio repair. Boat anchor. CB radio repair. Brake brake. Well, here we are. Uh, opened up. The Midland 13-Me uh, yeah, uh, look. 893. <laughs> And it seems to be working pretty good. I'll do a frequency test. Uh, let's see. 025, yeah, it's close. And it's got a click clarifier, so I could turn this and get it right there. Uh, well. Uh, yeah, just like the uh, just like the uh, Cobra 134, exactly the same radio, except for it's a uh, Midlin <clears throat> and a four pin compared to the phono plug type.
There's somebody keying up out there. I don't know how far away, but it ain't very far away because uh, it's keying up all on the red. Everything needs to be cleaned. Uh, I just opened it up and I changed those caps right there. Uh, yeah, three, four, five, six. I changed six caps. Yep, it's the same thing as the 134. Same exact radio, except for the phono plug, which is a four pin. Yep, it's exactly the same thing. Um, okay. Well, that's a. Uh, sort of a look inside and uh, nice and clean nothing's been done to it except for me changing them caps some over here and one there yeah it's a good radio works on sideband but uh, needs to be tuned up uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, I really ain't doing that great. Uh, uh, now you can hear me yelling, or not really yelling, but talking very loud into the mic and... NB doesn't seem to do hardly anything. High and low does. Uh, one, two. The meter doesn't move that much. Just like on here. Hello. 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 So that's, uh, that's the look of it. After, uh, and, and the sound of it. Huh. Got it hooked up to the Madison speaker there. Yeah. It does have a clip open clarifier. So, I guess somebody did something to it, to make it do that. Unless it was, you no, know, it couldn't have been like that from the factory. Okay, that's a uh, look at the uh, working 13-893. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't make very much of a difference, does it? Now, anyway, there it is. Boat Anchor CB, Boat Anchor CB Radio Repair. Uh, just doing a little bit of a cap change there with those caps. And, yeah, it seems to work. Other than it does need a tune-up to get it up to 5 watts. I ain't even doing that. Uh, 2 to maybe 4 watts. And but it, it it's all it working, all the channels work, all the crystals are good, so uh, this might be another eBay thing. I don't know. I think I paid like I don't know forty five something like that. So yeah, if anybody's interested, it's you know somewhere around that general area. Anyway, Boat Anchor CB Radio Repair. We gone.